be no halftime show for the fans here tonight. Chargers will be kicking off from left to right. The Cowboys will get the opening possession of the second half. And it's a low squib kick, and it will be down around the, the 35 to 34 yard line where they're going to spot it. So the Florida Cowboys again are looking to get on the board for the first time this year. First and 10 for the boys. That's where they'll take over. So Luis. High school, you're a Porter Cowboys and Carroll, 36 to nothing. If you're head coach Tom, Tom Campos, what do you say to your team heading into the second half? Keep your heads up. Hopefully you can cut into this lead and maybe make a comeback. It's, just in, the, it's, in, the Cow it's in the player's hands. In the player's hands is correct. Ball on the 34. Out of the gun is Frank Alvarado. Snaps there, hands it off to the left. And leaping over a man, flags will come into the area of holding still on his feet. From the 45 yard line, Angel Rodriguez on the carry. We'll wait and see what the penalty is. And it is holding against Rolando Soto. Came into the area of holding from the get go. So when it rains, it pours. How ironic for the Cowboys. First play from scrimmage, they get a holding call that'll back them up another 10 yards. It's not the way you want to start a second half. It's just your mistakes with the Cowboys. We said it before the Cowboys got to find a way to battle against these mistakes. They're young and they got to they gotta get better. It's a learning process. Call it a first and 20, ball on the 24. Unique formation, high snap is able to come down with it, balls up in the air, and in a no man's land, a dangerous throw there from Frank Alvarado, that pass is fall incomplete. Ball remains on the 24 yard line, so a wet muggy Friday night here at Sam Stadium. As the stands are still wet, for the faithful fans still out here to cheer on their Cowboys. Same thing for the Veterans Memorial Chargers as we're looking across the field. A pair of Brownsville teams taking on each other as we kick off 32-5A action coming to you live from Sam Stadium. You're tuning in to valleycentral.com. Special shout out to BISD and all their hardworking students providing the camera angles. Tonight we're audio. An hour after the game, we'll provide live video and audio. To them, special shout out to BISD and company and the ball is on the ground after a high snap and they'll blow the play dead around the 10 yard line Luis you mentioned high snap there's yet another one for the for the Cowboy offense it's just it's, it's just mental mistakes the Cowboys got to get better mentally and hopefully that'll help them later during the season obviously it's not gonna help them tonight because it's I think it's too much of a deficit for the Cowboys to overcome but we never know hopefully, hopefully they'll get better with the mental Mistakes. Third and 29 for the Cowboys. Ball on the 15 here in the third quarter. It's all Chargers, 36 to nothing third down for the Cowboys. against the Cowboys. We'll have a three receiver set, two to his right, one lone receiver down to the left, and they'll go ahead and run it, run it. Still on his feet is Angel Rodriguez. So a valiant effort there from their running back. Nevertheless, it'll be a fourth down punt team coming out on the field for the Cowboys. It's nice to see that, that the Cowboys offense is not giving up, but it's fourth down. I don't see how, in, I don't see any way the Cowboys can overcome this deficit. Number seven, David Pacheco with the carry. Fourth down for the Cowboys. Fourth and 27 coming up. 17, Cowboys will be punting from right to left. It's a high line drive kick. Ball's fielded and a good grab from the return man crossing the 40 into Cowboy territory. Room to run, still on his feet down to the 20. Inside to the, call it the 14, 13 yard line. And good starting position for the Chargers, Kevin Fisher. With a great grab return at all the way down into deep 
Cowboy territory. Now bring up first and ten for the Chargers. The Cowboys are broken mentally, and veterans is taking advantage of that. They are a young team, but they are mentally ready for this game. And it's obviously showing by the score, and I don't see how the Cowboys can cut into this deficit. I've said it before, and I'll say it again. Well, final score coming from Cat Stadium, Edinburgh North 20. Edinburgh is going to be this nothing. So how about that defense of Coach Signs? And the Cougars of Edinburgh North, they improved to 3-0 on the year and 1-0 in district play in the Valley's Game of the Week. Castillo will call his own number here, crossing the 10-5, juking a man, walking into the end zone for a Charger touchdown, touchdown. 42 to nothing. They've broken it open five, here at the Castillo. floodgates. Speaking of floodgates, the <laughs> rain starting to come over Stan Stadium. So fans, you heard it here. Cat Stadium, Edinburgh North defeats the, the Jaguars. 31 to nothing in the Valley Game of the Week. We're going to keep you updated with some scores. Hidalgo defeats Valley View 21 to 6. We'll continue to scroll through the Twitter. The Valley High School's football is going around. Most of the games are being finalized, considered we were in a delay. Extra point is up. And it is Extra good. point is good. The 9.37 to go in the quarter with the score the Chargers 43, Cowboys 0. ValleyCentral.com. Back to the action, 32-5A, you're tuning into valleycentral.com. All Chargers, Cowboys 43 to nothing for that Marcus Castillo touchdown. 9.37 remaining in the third quarter. The fourth quarter, West Laco East leads PSJ. Picking up for the Chargers, seven. number 31, Ruben and Dutch. Final score, Lohoyer. Echoes the Hoyer's. kick for the Cowboys, number 7, Hoyer's. David Pacheco, number 13, Juan Calasan. So again, most of the games are being finalized, but we're in a long rain delay. Lightning delay, I should say. That kick rolls out of bounds. So the easy flag will come in. First and ten for the Cowboys. The Cowboys will be first and ten, and out comes our offense. The Cowboys are going to try to cut into this deficit. I, I still don't see how, how they can. And may I say something about Marcus Castillo? That kid is a sophomore, but he plays like a high school senior. I think, I think he's the best quarterback in Brownsville from what I've seen today. Spoken, or uh, we'll get to that in a minute. The penalty is against the Chargers, so the Cowboys will get a good start in field position. And once again, some good comments made by Luis Garza for Marcus Castillo, his former teammate of two years. They play PB football together, so he's seen the talent that the young Castillo has. And boy, he's putting on a show tonight for his crowd of Veterans Memorial. So, first and ten. The 38 yard line, Angel Rodriguez on the Number carry. Number one, Rodriguez with the carry. Mission Vets defeat Zapata 17 to seven. That game just went final. Again, lots of scores going final in the Valley. That'll bring up second down for the Cowboys. Against the Cowboys, second 11. Phone here. I'll get to this score. Play it is a second and eleven. Ball on the thirty-seven yard line. Out of the gun. Hand it off. Loss of a couple of yards there. And now the Chargers defense starting to show so some signs. Of so we have an update. Edinburgh High and Donna are heading into, heading into second in overtime. They're tied up 14-14 between the Redskins and the Bobcats. 
A final score, a shootout. McAllen High, 42, McAllen Low, 40. And in the third quarter, Simpson, 40, Rio Hondo, 31. Third and 16, coming up for the offense. Low snap to Julian Alvarado, rolling out to his right. Met by a defender, escaping one man and throws it away. And they'll blow him dead. Luis, you saw something, what'd you see? I see Andrew Rod Rodriguez, number one in the back for the Cowboys, limping on the sidelines. They're going up a new back, though, and things don't look pretty for the Cowboys. Fourth and 16 coming up. Eli scored too soon. Unfortunate circumstances for the Edinburgh Bobcats. They've lost a couple of games by field goals, last second, lo last second losses as Donna wins 20 to 17 in double overtime. If you're coach Joey Costas, you gotta be wondering what else do I gotta do? And comes the ball out of bounds. The official at a good spot. But he'll mark it at the 48 and a half yard line. First down Chargers as they will take over. 7.25 remaining in the third quarter. So it's been a long, lengthy game considering that first the quarter. The bands uh, made an early exit. I'm sure they don't mind that. So there was no halftime show for either crowd. We got right back into the action. The lightning delay, around an hour and 15 minutes, give or take. Some of the fans still on hand here at Sam Stadium. As we hit 10.35. 25 remaining in the third quarter. Ball on the 46. Chargers with the football. New quarterback is number 18, Zeke Marks. The wide receiver converting to quarterback. It'll be a handoff to the running back. Still on his feet is Rodriguez, breaking multiple tackles. But he's finally down by the Cowboy the defender, David Jimenez. As you see, Rodriguez, Omar Rodriguez David going to work Jimenez. again. And we also see a new quarterback for the veterans Chargers. I think it's because the Chargers are trying to rest up Marcus Castillo and getting him ready and oh, trying to avoid injuries and gonna get him ready for next week's game. Exactly, you know, that's a good point. At some point, you gotta protect your best athlete. So considering the score, the first district win, assuming they hold on to the lead. Yeah. Good call there from the head coach of Veterans Memorial. So it'll be a handoff again to Rodriguez with some room to run, weaving in Working his way through. We still, we still have no sign. Number six, Tyler Gonzalez with the carry. Is, we haven't seen him since early in the first quarter. We wonder what's going on, and hopefully nine, he's all right. Two, so, fans, I want to thank you for tuning in to ValleyCentral.com. I'm Third Kevin Howard, alongside with Luis Garza, the color commentary at Sam Stadium. Six minutes remaining in the third quarter. Ball is out, in and out of Marks hands. Ball is on the ground. Looks as if Marks was able to recover his own fumble there, and he's able to. The Chargers will maintain possession. That's something we've seen that's coming from the Cowboys offense. High snaps. Have and there's a Porter player down. That is number seven for the Cowboys, David Pacheco. He's been a busy man as of late. So we're going to take a quick break in respect to the injured player. We're going to take a quick break from up here in the press box. And the Chargers and the Cowboys will be back in a moment. Back to the action, the injured player is able to get up and walk on the 
catching a cramp there considering the fourth down for the Chargers. Weather. Fourth and nine coming up for the Chargers. Marks is out of the gun. They'll be going for it. Looking back to pass. Flags will come in. See what the call is. Yes, it is a false start against the Chargers fans. Tomorrow, myself and Joe Bowling will bring you the early game at 11 o'clock as the Harlingen Cardinals take on the Brownsville Rivera Raiders. That will be the early game at 11 a.m. Myself and Joe Bowling will be bringing you the action live on ValleyCentral.com. The second game, the night game, will be the Los Brazos Falcons against the Brownsville Hannah Eagles. Out to pass is Marks. The call his own number here. Flips it up at the last second in and out of his hands of his intended wide receiver. So it'll be a turnover on downs. Julio Alvar, the intended wide receiver. So the Cowboys will take over on downs. We say your Cowboys are going to be starting with their best field position of the night. Yeah. And that is veterans' third for third turnover. Marks is not doesn't bring the the excitement as Castillo does. But it's smart. It's a smart thing by better. Resting Castillo for next week. Cowboys! Get Harlingen South. The Harlingen, the Harlingen South is correct. That's who the veterans Chargers will match up so next week. Cowboys. Your first and ten for the Cowboys. They'll be going from right to left. Ball right at midfield. It'll be a handoff. Tackled right around West Texas area. Local here at Sam Stadium is the state of Texas. So once again, fans, you're listening to ValleyCentral.com. You want to catch, according to Joe Bowling, the best team in the Valley, the Harlingen Cardinals, will be taking on the Brownsville Rivera Raiders. That will be the early game at 11 a.m. Myself and Joe will be bringing you the action. And then myself, Hopefully, Mr. Luis will be back for tomorrow's night game between the Los Brazos Falcons and the Brownsville Hannah Eagles. You can tune into ValleyCentral.com for all the action. 4:45 remaining in the third quarter. Motion man from right to left. Low snap. Able to hand it off. Met right back at the line of scrimmage. Met by a wall of Charger defenders. Andrew Rodriguez stopped short there. And may I say something? This it's a good thing to see him back in the game after we saw him limping on the sidelines. Fans, once again, shout out to everyone on the KGBD, KGB team, oh, action oh, news team, Joe Jerry. Bowling, Clay Williams, Lee Martinez, Anwar. That'll bring a third shout down out to the all you and the BISD students that are working hard to bring you this, po this telecast possible along with the broadcast. The telecast will be an hour after this game. Right now we are feeding you live audio. The video will be posted an hour after. So third down and 10. The D-line shifting, trying to break it to the outside is Angel again, and a good contact. You heard that one up from up here. That did not look like a good hit. I thought I saw some head-to-head -head contact. Both of the players were able to get up walk out, walk out off the field safely. It is fourth and ten for the Porter Cowboys, and it looks like they're going to punt the ball. David Pacheco is about back out to punt this one off for the boys. They'll be punting from right to left. And again, we're starting to see some flashes of lightning. We're starting to wonder with the game well in hand for the Cowboys. Will this game continue? At some point, you gotta worry about the safety of the kids. It'll be a high punt. Julian at the 10, crossing the 15, crossing the 20, still on his feet, crossing the 30, flags will fly in, spinning his way, reaching to the 39 yard line. That was Kevin Fisher on the return. Kevin Fisher with the punt return, tackle made There's a flag on the field right now, we'll be waiting for the flag on the play. We'll wait to see the call is, maybe in the area of holding. Let's see who comes out at quarterback. So it is a block in the back against the receiving team. One point I want to bring up, in my opinion, the longest quarter in football is the third quarter. 
and it has been a long third quarter here tonight at Sam Stadium. Would you agree with that? No, after seeing, after experiencing tonight's first quarter, I think that is the longest first quarter. That is the longest quarter ever. Yeah, that first quarter was unique. You rarely get those. So first and ten, ball on the 16 for the Chargers. And again, handing it off to his man, Omar Rodriguez, who's become the premier back. So now Ray Garza is in at quarterback for the Chargers. So now we went from Marcus Castillo to, to Zeke Marks. Now the man under center is Ray Garza. Let's see how he plays out for veteran for veterans Falcons. And we are still yet to see Derek Rodriguez. Second and 11, play clock down to nine. Chargers milking the clock down. It'll be another handoff, weaving his way down the right hash. So the Chargers have this one well in hand. And he's down the third quarter and looking ahead into the final fourth quarter of the game. Marks is lined up as receiver if you're right here watching the game. Okay, so our fans are tuning in by audio. So Zeke Marks is lined up to the right. He's on the 20 yard line. He's the lone receiver to the right. Two receivers to the left. A buck 47 remaining in the third quarter. 43 nothing Chargers. And that'll be a false start on the right guard of the Chargers as the early flags will come in. So that'll back him up another five. We have third and 11 coming up for the offense. Offense. Five yards. Well, it's nice to see that veterans has got three quarterbacks that they can look forward to whenever one, one is hurt or one is needs to rest. Third and 11 coming up. Garza will call his own number here. Matt still on his feet, maybe after a pickup of one. It'll be a fourth down coming up. As we head to the final minute of the third quarter, it's all Chargers, 43 to nothing. They lead the Porter Cowboys. Number 13, Ray Garza. I guess it's time for the Cowboys to bring in their second string to get them, just to get them experience for next year. Like the younger people need to play. In the fourth quarter, it's barn burner between Simpson and Rio Hondo. It's 40 to 39. Simpson leads Rio Hondo by one. I got to see Sinton last season. They went up against the mighty Port Isabel Tarpons. That kick will roll out of bounds. That game, some, uh, lots of similarities. Last year, my partner Donut and I got to call the playoff games over in Kingsville, where the Javelinas play their football games. Similar stadium, turf field. It was raining the first two hours of the game. Sinton and PI, both teams, love to run the football. Kind of worked out in their favor. That was one crazy game to be at, the rain. Thunder, the lightning, the two hour rain delay, then finally the boys were able to head onto the field. You want to talk about a slip and slide? That turf, oh, it was a challenge for both teams. So the Cowboys will set up shop on the 40 yard line. They are in Charger territory, looking to crack that goose egg up on the scoreboard. Six seconds on the play clock, play clock able to get it off. To their man, Angel Rodriguez. Number one, the Cowboys the just can't find running space here. They got a gain of one yard. It's not enough for the first down, but let's see what the Cowboys can do on this drive. After a pickup of one, they are 30 seconds and counting here in the third quarter. Cowboys heading to the line. One lone receiver to the left. And with somewhat of a pistol formation. Ball is on the ground. Able to pick it up is Alvarado. But the ball is on the ground. And so the Cowboys are able to recover. As the clock will down to 